we're in a perfect location that's rare for most places. We're centered by every type of um, pharmacy type, basically. There's a compounding pharmacy, there's a hospital pharmacy, and there's a bunch of local retails, whether it's the big chains or the small ones. You don't see that in most places anymore. So to be where we are, they get a lot of local experience. Yes, our students are required to get a minimum of 160 hours. So generally speaking, they go to at least two clinical sites. One is hospital and one's retail to give them both sides of pharmacy. Some end up in hospitals such as Toomey, um, McLeod, and Florence. Some of them end, in the, end up in the local pharmacies like Cut Rate, the local compounding pharmacy, CVS, Walgreens. People are getting older, people are sick, more and more medications being dispensed, and so they need more technicians. The salaries can range anywhere, generally starting off from 10 to around $15. You see a bunch of this uh, instructor's compassion just kind of come out as far as they really care, they really want the students to succeed. We have students that graduated a year ago, worked in the pharmacy, and it kind of gives you an introduction to healthcare. And now they're in nursing programs or in pharmacy programs. And so it gives you a foundation of pharmacology and medications that you can take to any part of the healthcare. I like that the, my instructors are very friendly. They're very one-to-one. -one. Uh, if you ever need anything, you can go to them for it. It's more affordable than other colleges as well. Um, I graduated from Blue Gulf Elgin High School. So the scholarship that they gave me at the time is if you graduate from there or from Camden High School, you're able to come here for two years for free tuition.